today is the day for the big delivery. I'm really pretty excited, except that this is one day earlier than I planned. Hi everybody, I am super excited about this episode. We just bought a brand new milling machine, putting us in a soup to nuts situation where we can do the hardware, the uh, electronics, we can do it all in this room. This is what Factory 400 was founded for, but I have to say it was not easy. This was an extraordinary effort to, uh, to do this. So here it is being delivered, enjoy. I'm not even close to ready. I have a whole bunch of stuff to move, as you can see behind me, uh, to make room for, for the machine. I've certainly done some prep work, but not quite ready yet, so let's get cracking. We gotta move some stuff out of the way to receive some big machine. We got all this stuff out, we made some room. Ah. Paradise. So. It's now 7.45. Estimated time of arrival is 8 a.m. So I'm just gonna enjoy myself a hot cup of coffee. Creeping up on 7.46 now. I'm just patient, just patiently waiting. <laughs> it is now 7.46. Now, I'm not convinced that patience is, uh, is one of my qualities. Creeping up on 8.08 now, eight minutes late. It's the first time I've seen sunlight and light two months. everybody we are officially on the move so it's been determined that this forklift is uh, way too heavy to try to roll over the um... okay, that's fine. the forklift is too heavy to roll on the um, driveway so all this thing is going to do is lift it off the truck we're going to use a pallet jack to um, muscle that uh, machine down the driveway so the machine only weighs 4,000 pounds, which, you know, if it was a drill press, that'd be pretty heavy, but um, not very much for a, for a milling machine. These guys are super precise. They delivered my first machine in uh, 2006. August of 2006 was my first, uh, first CNC purchase. And the same guys. Same forklift, same truck. Hilarious. Anyway, these guys, I tell you what, they can like, I mean, these guys are like splitting hairs. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Getting the forks in. The insurance is good. That's something like a bazillion dollars worth of stuff here. Oh, look at that. We have a student driver showing up. That's exciting. Somehow, that thing's gonna land on the, uh, the pallet jack. 
There's some sunlight. Got some lumps and bumps to get over so they've got some uh, some steel wedges uh, to go over I'm super glad I got the pallet jack that's actually my pallet jack that I was planning on using to move the machine I didn't know if it was gonna lift the machine but they're like hey can we use your pallet jack it's like there we have it it's working hmm. I'm dubious this is where we unwrap the box. Got a new giant new tarp. So yeah. Pago dinero por ya ese mes de dinero. So this thing, as it sits, will not fit in to the garage. So the technician is here to pull some of the pieces off at of the top. Um, the uh, cable carrier right there has to be removed and uh, the regen housing which is the giant resistor that is used to dump the energy when the spindle needs to slow down. So those are the tallest things on there and uh, they're going to be removed. We'll slide it into position and uh, put it back on there. And for that excitement that cost an extra $600. <laughs> but the uh, that's a heck of a lot cheaper than uh, modifying the garage. But there it is, a super mini mill. How fun. <clears throat> Hi. You can see this uh, cable carrier part right here and uh, this little thing with the little vents on there, that's what's going to come off. Yeah. Alright, so this is the part where we're doing all of the available options to get this thing to its absolute minimum height to squeeze in. Which means that the uh, adjustment feet are going to be fully adjusted down. and. Uh, in addition to the equipment coming off of the top, and uh, we should clear by just a just a smidgen, just a smidgen. I 
So this machine was carefully chosen to uh, to be the t the uh, tallest possible machine that can fit in without additional construction. So here's some fun stuff. If we look in here and see, these are the test chips. When they build the machine, they they do a ball bar test and some other things. They actually cut things with it, make sure everything is working, and that's what that is right there. So I was wondering if this machine was going to fit, and uh, from these photos, you can see it. it uh, it was pretty scary. I, I thought that I was going to have this expensive piece of equipment sitting out there with no place to go. So here's the technician taking off uh, some of the pieces. The cable tray is what he started with. And at this point, he kind of got the cable tray flattened out a little bit, but uh, still not enough. So we had to take it off completely, take all the hoses and, and wires out of it. We set that off to the side like you see there. But it's still like, oh boy, uh, you know, from every angle that I was looking at it, um, I was like... Is this really going to work? And, you know, when I first looked at it from this angle, I was like, oh my god, this is, it's going to miss by like some tiny amount. And it's looking close, looking close, but they're getting closer and closer. And, wait for it, it fits. I mean, barely. But that's all we needed. We needed it to fit by an inch or so, and that's it. It's in. We're in. Check it out. We had at least an inch to spare. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. How many of these do you put in garages? Uh, quite few. No. Yeah. yeah. I was like making a joke, but really? No, no. Yeah, we do quite few. Um, this is, this one right here is simple, but we have done uh, the one that pretty much take half of the machine apart. Yeah, so positioning this thing is uh, clearly quite a party. It has to be positioned um, really kind of a plus or minus uh, a half inch is how this thing is planned out. It has to be a really precise placement uh, for everything else to fit. And the column will actually raise up during normal operation above the ceiling. So that blue square is uh, the target where we're going to cut out the ceiling so that the column has a clearance. The forklift, huh? So, we had a special delivery today. A Haas Mini Mill. A Super Mini Mill, I should say. Paid extra for the Super part. Um, super excited to have this thing here. However, it has been a whirlwind of craziness trying to get ready for it um, and trying to keep the shop running at the same time. And I basically have to work uh, two double time jobs. Uh, that's essentially every possible hour that I can possibly be awake. Um, you can see it's nighttime. I woke up at nighttime. <laughs> And it's nighttime again. All right, so I just uh, moved the machine, shockingly, all by myself. I moved it a, you know, a few feet over. Because I'm in the process of cutting out uh, the hole in the ceiling. And uh, boy, I hope I get this right. You get to see my pretty face now. I've been going for about 14 hours now. Uh, the Haas guy is going to be here uh, in another 12 hours. I got to finish the ceiling, get the machine back to where it's supposed to be, and um, run the air lines, and get the three phase from the phase converter to the machine, and, um, and make sure that that all checks out okay, and then I can go to sleep. Um, I was able to get my computer up, as we saw earlier. I'm so glad that it booted. This computer is ancient, has all kinds of issues, and uh, sometimes 
it just doesn't boot up. Uh, and I have to kind of hit it with a hammer a few times, so to speak. And maybe a little bit more sophisticated than that. But anyway, this thing booted up, connected to the internet, so I can actually conduct business um, while this thing is going on right behind me. So, we shall find out. Everybody, this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is Mario from the Haas Factory Outlet. He's commissioning the machine and everything. We just got it hooked up to electricity. He checked it. It's all good. So the next big thing to do is to hit the on button. Ready? Is it going to blow up, Mario? No. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah! It's alive. So, warning, do not climb into the machine. If you do, make sure it's not running. Oh, we have lights. Look at that. Little solenoid test. All right, so the phase converter is clearly working. The, uh, the uh, air compressor upgrade is going to be uh, uh, very well received when that arrives, but it's enough air pressure to uh, get us through this part of the process. I'm excited. Okay, so this is the part that we all love. So I have what appears to be four or five steps between the design workstation and the making workstation. And the pick and place machine, I don't think you can see this, but it's off to my right. So literally I'm touching the milling machine and the PCB assembly machine at the exact same time. This is exciting. That This means I can literally think of something in the morning, machine it by the afternoon, have circuit boards on the way by the evening. Um, super exciting. But before all that happens, I'm going to be spending the next 12, 13 hours going through all of the pieces and the parts and trying to organize everything, make sure I have everything that I need, trying to organize shelves. Um, trying to get ready for this whole big, uh, this whole big endeavor, but it's it's uh, super exciting. I've got literally an entire manufacturing facility inside my garage, from concept to completion. Super exciting.